Hello and welcome to Wake Up Data Hub Knowledge Base. In this video, we will learn how to use field conversions feature and what is the value it adds and how does it make your work with Wake Up Data Hub more efficient. But first, let's understand what is field conversion. So a field conversion is a step in between your project and your channels. In this step, you can already start optimizing and altering data from your project before it's reaching your channel. Now, why would you do that? So let's say we have this project and we looked at our stored data, which basically give us a snippet of the information we have about our products. So let's say we have this product, which has a unique ID, title, description, image links, availability, brand, and so on and so forth. But what we notice is in titles, we have this irrelevant information, which can be anything. And if we look across all the products, we see that this information is present in all our products. It can be also present in our brand or in any other attribute. So what we would like to do is now, instead of us going to our channels and start removing this information with field conversions, we can remove this information before it's reaching our channels. So now when you're gonna create one or more channels, you're gonna know for sure that this information in the title is removed and you can start optimizing it with other relevant attributes without the need of manually going through the same process. So how do we do that? As you can see, we have field conversions here. We can press create new field and then we choose our title field. And then we can give it a custom name saying product title without irrelevant information. So then when I'm using it in channels, I know that this is the title which is optimized already. Then we create an uh, edit expression and then we choose our title from here and we say, all right, so there is a lot of relevant information we Can copy paste this one. And then we can say, well, I want to remove this information from all my titles. Perfect. So now we have clean titles and every time they're gonna reach the channels, on each channel, you're gonna see only these titles without the relevant information. Now we press save and then we close. And then we can actually run it now, which means the change is going to be visible almost immediately when we go to channels. But before we do that, let's look at the second way we can use field conversion. So again, if we look at the stored data, we will notice that we have here a list of all the attributes available in a specific product, but I can see here an attribute, which I know for sure that is going to be available and valuable for me, which is let's say condition. So I know that I'm selling only new products, but I don't have this information in my product data. So basically what I can do is create another attribute that does not exist now in my project. So if I create a new field and then I can pick from the list here condition, I can leave it like this because I don't need to overwrite it now. And then I can create it. So I can say, well, I want all my products to have this attribute new in condition, save it close it and then I can run it. So now what I did is I added one more attribute to my project which was not available in my data set and you can do that with multiple attributes that you believe are relevant and are easy to add in your product attribute list. So now let's see what happened here. So if we go to overview and we have our channels, we go to this channel to Google Shopping Ads and then we press mappings and then we go to the product title and then we insert the field, and then we choose product title without the relevant information. Now you can see that our title is already clean and we can start working with it or leaving it like that. And now if we go to the product condition, and we use the transformation engine. And then, as you remember in our product data set, we didn't have an attribute called the condition. And now if we look for it here, then we can see it here condition and we can save it. So now if we go back to our project, and we wish to create a new channel. Let's say we go on a Facebook channel. And then we go the same to the product title. We go to transformation engine, insert field. Now again, you see that we have this product title without the relevant information that we can already start using. Same goes for the condition. We can see that condition is present here as well. So what we did actually is instead of us having that title with the relevant information in Google Shopping and then optimizing it there and then going to our Facebook feed and optimizing it here as well. And the same goes for condition, adding that condition manually here. We now had that information already being taken care of within our field conversions. And it's much faster to work with our data set and when we look at different channels. If you have any more questions, please reach out to our support team and we'll be happy to help you.